Shaker Meta with the number four Nissan 240RS was to be in 10th place by the time the cars reached the 10th time control. Nobody knows this event better than the Kenyan. The first part of the Safari Rally is almost a Grand Prix-like event into the tighter hills. In theory, the Audi Quattros of Mikola, now the retired Blomqvist, should have had a 20 mile per hour top speed advantage over the rest of the field, had their six speed gearbox worked. Spectators here believe in getting the best possible view, even if it means standing in the middle of the road. Timo Salmon gets them all out of the way. The World Championship leader was also to be afflicted by problems in the early stages of the event. The timing chain broke on the number six Peugeot at the Kamutua control number 24. He had to wait for over an hour for a service team to arrive, in fact, losing a total of 85 minutes. So out of the top 10 for the number six car, but there's still a long way to go. And without a doubt, the Safari Rally is the most important sporting event to be held every year in Kenya. And sure enough, every year, tens of thousands of people line the route. Most of them, as in Portugal, with suicidal tendencies. Ari Vatnan with the number seven Peugeot. Well, he's afflicted by one serious problem. He runs out of fuel and has to stop at a filling station. What actually happened is that a fuse broke in the car and so that couldn't tell him he was low on fuel. Here, he does everything possible to make up ground. The Lancia team were doing exceptionally well in the early stages. By the 10th time control at Bambury, Bettega with the number 8 Lancia Martini 037 was leading the event. Whilst the local bus service comes in the opposite direction, Bettega doesn't lift his foot for a moment. And indeed the Lancia team were in very good shape by the 10th time control because they were lying in 1st, 2nd and 4th place. <laughs> 